Hello everyone and welcome to another Friday new product post here at Sparkfun Electronics. We've got a bunch of new kits to talk about and a new single board computer, so let's dive right in and see what we've got. First up, we've got a lot of new kits for Elastolite. Elastolite is this flexible electroluminescent panel that is really good for wearables or e-textiles. They come in these panels that look like that and they are flexible. Uh, we've done some videos previously on the Elastolite products. We have a few different product demonstrations of the actual panels themselves, but this week we have them built up in kits. We have 10 different kits. We have them in the five different colors of the three inch by five inch, and then we have the five different colors of the two by two inch panels. The thing about the Elastolite is it does take a couple different pieces to get these panels working. So you have the panel itself, you have some of these little iron-on connectors. You have the circuit tape, which is just a two-conductor um, flexible tape that is used to connect everything together. You have the inverter, the USB cable for the inverter, eh, the little um, connector that goes inside the inverter that connects it then to the tape. And then we have a couple of these little junctions that connect to the panel itself. To make it easier on everyone, we decided to throw this together into a kit, so this is all you need to get one panel working. And as I said, we have the five different kits for all the different colors for the three inch by five inch panels, and then we have all the other ones for the smaller two by two inch panels, which look a little something like this. So you can see they're just a little bit smaller panels, and they include all the same connectors and pieces. And we even include a little slip of paper that brings you to sparkfun.com slash elastolite, which has all the tutorials and knowledge you need to get everything working. And next up, for anyone that's interested in getting into single board computers, we have the new, the awesome, the PC Duino 3. This is not replacing the PC Duino 2. It will be sold in addition to the PC Duino 2, but this thing has a little bit of everything. If you're looking at it right now, there's a couple things that you're probably seeing which might interest you. The first thing is it has a SATA port. SATA ports are used for hard drives in computers. In addition to the SATA port, uh, we also have a um, power jack. The power jack for the SATA port is only 5 volts, but notebook hard drives and solid state drives only use 5 volts, so you should be good there. But just keep that in mind that if you have a drive that works off 12 volts and 5 volts, you're going to need to power 12 volts separately. What else do we have on here? The big difference between the PC Duino 2 and the 3 is the use of the A20 chip instead of the A10. This is a dual core version, so it's got a lot more power to it. We do have the same HDMI that we had on the PC Duino 2. We've got an ethernet jack over here. We have a USB. We even have a USB OTG port over here. And in addition to the ethernet, we also have Wi-Fi. And of course, what makes the PC Duino unique is the Arduino headers. These are the same headers that you would find in Arduino, um, an Uno, one of our red boards or anything like that. It makes this board insanely flexible with hardware because you can use any Arduino shield on it. And they do have an Arduino programming environment in here as well, so you would program it just like you would on your PC. Um, a couple other features to note, we do have a battery port right there. We have an MIPI camera port. We're not 100% sure what that does yet. We just got these in and really haven't had that much time to play with them, but we're told that there might be some camera modules coming up soon. In addition, there's also an LVDS port, which is for interfacing with LCD displays or liquid crystal displays. So we also have a port there for that, and more information will be coming on that as well. If we look at the back here, you've got a micro SD socket for extra storage. We've got an audio jack, which is new for this, and um, the power actually comes in here through a micro USB jack. So this board has all sorts of stuff crammed into it. It has pretty much every feature you could possibly imagine. The other interesting thing about the whole PC Duino line is their ability to run not only Android, but also Ubuntu Linux. So that is a really amazing feat to be able to go between the two different operating systems. This can also do Scratch. Um, it can do the Arduino IDE like I talked about. You can even run processing on this. So if you're really looking to do anything with single board computers and just kind of want a kitchen sink, you might want to check out the new PC Duino 3. 
So there you have it. If you're looking to do anything with Elastolite, but we're a little bit unsure of what pieces to buy, you definitely want to check out either of the kits, either the 3x5 inch or the 2x2. And if you're looking to buy a single board computer or already have one looking for something a little bit more powerful, definitely check out the PC Duino 3. Thanks for watching, and um, as always, go ahead and check out the rest of the new products we have for this week at sparkfun.com, and we'll see you again next week with even more new products.